being a husband wife team. Mm -hmm. well, this is my favorite topic. It's probably really easy, right? To manage marriage and business where there's no problems whatsoever. Well, <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, actually, like there isn't much. I think our problems were mm -hmm. in the beginning and we and we worked together to overcome them. Like if anything, I think we've created more happiness than mm -hmm. than we did before. We were more connected and we're closer and we think about the same things. Mm -hmm talk about the same things um so let's talk about then you said in the beginning there were challenges what were the challenges in the beginning and then how did you resolve them well <laughs> max is like you know a very determinated or has a lot of determination and a little intense he's very persistent <laughs> i was very lazy mm -hmm. um and i can admit that and um you know for me to work with someone that has so much energy it was a little hard for me because i'm used to living my day-to-day -day, relax this and that oh i'm done with school i go to my serving job come home sleep go to bed but he was like no 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 you're not going to bed yet we're gonna sit down we're gonna make some offers this and that and he was holding me accountable but i didn't know how to take it mm -hmm. um i was like you need to be my husband like you're not my boss this and that and over time, I was realizing he's only trying to make me a better person. He's only trying to help me grow, see new things, um, grow together and make something together. So if it was just for me, I had to open up and say, hey, he's trying to do something for me, not mm -hmm. not trying to hurt me. Right. So. Yeah, I think it was really important. For me, it was almost like investing in her. Um, and it was it, it helped our relationship, I think. It's, you know, there's people that might not be able to work with their husband and wives, but for us, um, it almost got us so much closer than anything else because we've been doing the same thing, we're loving it, and we're having these these accomplishments together. But at the beginning, of course, it was I had to understand how to talk to my wife because I was talking to her in a way like I talk to myself, and it's sometimes like really strict of like you know let's get it done, don't show emotions, don't be weak, you know, don't complain. Uh, we have to because there was I a lot of I can only imagine well. <laughs> saying those words to my wife and saying yeah. what I work. <laughs> we had a lot of you know stress in the back right it wasn't it was, it was hard to do it so there was a lot of just like we don't have a choice right now you know right. we, we cannot just go to bed and sleep we gotta get it done but eventually you learn how to communicate with her in a professional manner and it helps with the relationship too and um, I would not be here without her I think that was yeah. like the biggest investment I've done is like almost um, we are like two bodies and one brain like, and this is our superpower because we get twice as much done because we're both doing the same thing and we're both on the same level. Like, you know, we're splitting up on a daily basis and we get so much done because it's like, okay, what are you doing today? What am I doing today? How do we plan our days? How can we be more efficient? And I think we've, we've managed it so far really well of like just being absolutely on top of things. And I guess the biggest challenge is, is the work-life balance. Um, mm -hmm. We have these things where we... You know, you have to tell each other, like, hey, tonight is just not talk about work. I know mm -hmm. there's a lot going on, but let's have a date night. Um, it's it's not easy, but on the other side, if both do it and both are so consumed in a way, in a positive fashion, where we enjoy it, uh, you know, it's not necessarily hindering those date nights. Yeah. It's just an addition where you have to get these balanced points straightened out. Like yesterday, we, we, didn't, we worked super, super hard this month. We're like, you know what, let's just have this Valentine's. It was our anniversary, so we just went to the beach all day and... And really walk just, 10 miles, let yeah. me just say. It's super cool. But <laughs> a little just, exhausting. Just being able to do that and be like, hey, you know, let's not talk about it. And we just talk about our future. Yeah, right? that's and what we love to do together, actually, is, is talk about our future and manifest things that we want for each other mm -hmm. and our family. And it's actually funny because my mom FaceTimed me yesterday and she's like, so did you get out and do something? Did you, you know go on a dinner date with another couple that's not in real estate? <laughs> because we talk, eat, and breathe real estate all mm -hmm. the time because we love it but for my mom she's like there's more of the to life than just real estate so for us it's really hard for us to like separate that because we love what we do and you know we would rather be at home watching a movie underwriting deals than mm -hmm. going out and partying so i'm just hard. like super proud of katie too because as you know, real estate is a really like male heavy space. Mm -hmm. And I remember like the first meetups we went to was like 95, 98% just men. And she was super intimidated at first. And now she's just a badass, right? She's yeah. really grown <sighs> into it where she's like, you know, she's t telling people what to do. She knows exactly what she's doing. And 
she has just been growing so immensely in the last two years. And I think it's also one of the major forces of our collective success because she almost like I said, the missing piece. You know, I'm sometimes I'm getting too locked up in certain things and then she kind of like pulls me back uh, and you know, sets, sets the focus again. Um, and obviously doing, uh, doing emotional times when, when stuff is not going right, um, she's usually like the rock yeah. or you know, vice versa. So I think that was... Um, mm, thank you. Of course. Thank you for Likewise. being Likewise. <laughs> well, and I can certainly, you know, empathize here or sympathize with the struggle here because like my wife is also in the business, right? Mm -hmm. uh, not working alongside me, but she's also in real estate. Mm -hmm. And so it's a struggle and we have to set boundaries on date night. Mm -hmm. We cannot talk about real estate. And there's not much else to talk about. It's really unfortunate. Like, so what'd you do today? <laughs> uh. Right? Uh, so I totally uh, uh, get that on, on the boundary side. Uh, what advice then would you give someone that's like starting a new venture with their spouse? Be patient and um, give your partner the freedom to grow because if you're watching over them the whole time, they're going to feel intimidated. It's going to be really hard for them to actually express and and do what they need to do with you know how it is when someone's when you're getting your driver's license and the the guy's right next to you and he's staring at every move writing it down it's intimidating and that's like with many different things in life and so when you give your partner the freedom to do something let them do it mm -hmm. and then you can come together and talk about what needs to be fixed or what they did really well but um for myself when we first started I feel like it would have been much easier if I was able to try it on my own mm -hmm. and see how I did, and then collectively we came together. Um, I mean, what what would you say? Yeah, I think the trusting each other too, right? There's this is a huge trust component. I mean, obviously, of course, if you're like in a relationship and you're marrying somebody, it's a huge trust, and then building a business that's just a, a different way of relationship. Um, and then also understanding that the same things apply to any relationship. It's like it's, it's the support, it's, it's feeding into those relationships, continuously growing them. Um, so, and, and, and accepting these challenges. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one thing when you, when you do anything, you go in a relationship, you marry, you do start a business with somebody, there's, there's going to be challenges. So you have to be aware of them and also accept the struggle. And when, when you are in a struggling position, what I've learned is sometimes when you, you know, especially if you do it both and you both have a bad day, you both, you know, low energy is low, but sometimes that's what you have to learn. It's like understanding, okay, my partner is currently really low. I need to evaluate, you know, elevate myself to help her get out of it. So we can both feed each other to get out of it because mm -hmm. if both just feed into the negative emotion, it gets even farther <laughs> down. So it's like that's the awareness right. of like, okay, hey, we will be both down right now. I know today sucked and really be upset, but my responsibility now is realizing it and I have to like feed into her and help her get out or vice versa, right? And I think this has been really helpful on both our sides that we realize when it's time for us to go in and, and help each other and, you know, change the focus and just be there for each other and say, you know, everything is going to be okay. I mean, we, she, had, she has this funny thing. Um, obviously, the last couple of years, last two years have been a lot of hard, has been a lot of hardship, right? There was a lot of bad days, hard days, disappointment, a lot of pressure. And she usually always comes in the office and she's like, singing the song, you know, every little thing is going to be all right. Oh, yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. And yeah. it's like, it's so cute because then like, you know, I'm like totally emotionally down at the moment. And then she comes in and like, just leave me alone. And then I'm like, okay, you know, you know you're right. I and start then, like singing it in his ear and then, Yeah, you know. yeah. And it helps. It's just like the relationship of like, you're right, babe. It's just going to be fine. Let's just, you know, breathe and continue. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. So um, 